Hey guys, finally not sick after two weeks. Um, today is Sunday, um, and I am out to look for some breakfast and to show you my bike. Um, since I haven't made a vlog in quite a while um, and I got my seat to recovered and reupholstered which is feeling really awesome and looking much better um, <clears throat> my old seat was kind of old and tattered um, still the original seat that the bike came with so it's six or seven years old now Feels good, man. Oh, my back feels so good. Um, yeah. So my got my seat done. Uh, I'm still working on the pillion handle cover. Um, I like the look of the. Uh, the way the bike looks without the handle, it looks a lot sleeker and straighter. Um, wow, this thing's shining in my eye. Um, so, for the last like month or so, I've been fabricating one out of metal, uh, which has been a bit of a mission, but quite fun. I will maybe I'll put some pictures in this video of it. Might finish it off later today because it just needs paint um, yeah. so I'm just heading up to the highway I don't exactly know where I'm gonna go for breakfast since it's month end and I have no food at my house um, yeah. My favourite is usually Flapjack Stack from Mug and Bean. Maybe... Hmm... Actually, I don't know. Wow, this thing is bright. I should not have polished my Speedo. Before I started this video, I polished my bike down completely. And polished the Speedo. I don't know if you can see, but it's like shining directly into my face. I will put my visor down. So yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna go. Maybe I'll head into town. Maybe I'll do that. check my tire pressures at the garage now when I got petrol. Can't just go speeding around on low tire pressure. Ha <laughs> ha 
It is quite windy though, but the day has cleared up quite a bit, which is nice. So that's why I am on a random mission for breakfast slash let's stalk other bikers. There's two dudes at the front there on some cool looking motards. Nice and loud. Fucking loud. Actually hurting my ears. The road just caught him out, but that was weird. He drifted across into my lane. There again, nearly drifts. I will hang back a little bit. Oh, there again. the lead his friend is riding a bit too much for him well a little bit I don't know he seems to be more advanced come on you slow fuck sees a seafood there's a bike there Olo, St. Elmo's Thai Cafe. Ooh. Let's turn in here. Ah, oh, Vida, but they don't have very nice food. That looks like a big one. A big one. Oh well, let's go into Vida since there is nobody there. I don't know, it looks intimidating every now and then. <laughs> okay, well, after sitting in the parking lot like a stalker, which has been my main theme of this day um, oh that's a nice bike that's an even nicer bike I am going to follow them maybe they're going to be there and I can stalk them yeah. oh, why am I so weird just why well, 
I'm going to go in first so I don't look like I'm following them. Oh, never mind, they aren't even going that way. I don't even know if I can park here. Oh well. Fuck it. Uh, I'm hungry. Hey, there's a pigeon on that car. It's a really nice day today. That was fun. I actually think it's much more fun going back back on that road than it is going up. And I must say the seat 
I know I keep going on about it, but it makes a huge difference. It's got so much support, so much grip. Just makes riding that much more fun. And gives me more confidence as well. The other seats I'd slide around so much on because it's like a fake leather kind of thing. This has got tons of grip. Which is what I wanted. My bike is just running so beautifully today as well. Here we are at the almost top of Signal Hill, overlooking beautiful Cape Town. So I'm going to do a quick walk around of my bike for you. And here she is my Suzuki GSR 600 it's been performing brilliantly today um, I'll just go over the one or two little mods I've done so far besides polishing it up completely today um, I added the rim tape which I think looks pretty damn cool um, so far I've put in new brake pads new fluid um, getting a new air filter, doing chain and sprockets. Um, then what else I've done is I've put smoke tint on the indicators. Um, I just got my nice new seat today. Well, not today, yesterday. Not yesterday either, Friday. Um, with silver stitching to match the frame. Because um, the stock one was very slippery and from the previous two owners of the bike it was going a bit grey well not grey it was going a bit brown actually uh, it was black well it was it was like um, grey and silver seat so I think it looks much better okay I'm going to edit this out but then I made a tail tidy um, I could have bought one but they were extremely expensive so I basically <laughs> took the stock uh, number plate holder and chopped it off right there and then fitted a small number plate and LED indicators um, and yeah that's pretty much it the last thing I need to do is uh, do the exhaust but that's quite expensive um, there is some fall damage I dropped it once and on the frame but other than that she runs really well, it's riding extremely nicely today. You can see I got some decent lean in some of those corners, but obviously not anything spectacular. Um yeah, and that is that. I'm gonna cut the video here because I'm going to ride home, well not home, to my parents' house to watch the Moto GP, which should be good. I don't know if you can see, but there's a random police car parked down there in the bushes. I wonder what they are doing. Anyway, goodbye and thank you for watching. Cheers.